Hello there beautiful people and welcome back again to OnHow channel. For people that don't know, my name is Enes, I'm working for you. So if you have any questions or video request, make sure to drop on below in a comment and I will be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back. Please bear witness for that because I made over 200 videos on Shopify customizations. They were mostly requested by you guys, some I mean subscribers. And I actually know some people not even subscribers, but I'm fine with that. I still make the video for them. So don't hesitate, man. If you have any video requests or any questions, just drop me a comment below. I will be happy to provide you an information you need or even make a video for you. And yeah, you don't have to subscribe or maybe now you should consider doing so. Because if you don't, you lose. Why is that? Because this is a very different chapter on this channel. I usually share small customizations on each video. Now I'll be sharing complete sections and widgets highly customizable to make your Shopify store very professional without having to pay for those expensive team or paying those expensive developers or worse, paying for those monthly subscription applications just so you can have a section or a widget which is not a good idea for long-term project. In my videos, I will show you how to do everything yourself while using your own custom code. Or I'll give you a better deal. Scroll down to the channel, check out the videos and the sections I'm sharing and I'll let you decide and I'll respect your decision. But for now, let me show you how to add a 3D text and video or picture a split section on your Shopify store and it's highly customizable I mean highly highly customizable and very very flexible and without any more talking let's just jump to it as you can see by the way this is Shopify down team so I always start with completely new team nothing on it on each video I add small customizations by the video 50 or 60 the team will be completely different but now because it's a different chapter I think I will reach that level by 20 or 30 videos. As you can see, this uh, reviews carousel right here, which is all in one reviews carousel that will show reviews from multiple sources, Google, Facebook, Amazon, and Etsy, all in one place. And it's filterable. If I click on Google, it will only show me the reviews from Google. And so on for Amazon and Etsy. Or check out this sales notification. As you can see, this is by using your own custom code, no applications involved. And you can actually customize the, the behavior for it, when it should show up and how long should stay open. Then for who to show up to and the colors and so on of course and many more options I already posted that video make sure to check it out what I'm about to show you in this video is this one right here as you can see this is a 3D as you can see once I hover over it it gets lifted and it has like custom font for the heading it has a button and it's highly highly responsive for the mobile and tablet and so on because it's actually full width and it transforms with the screen ratio it's not like the typical sections on Shopify I promise you, this is very different. We use different techniques for achieving that. Now we'll show you that in a second. And you can actually, you're not limited to video. You can actually, if you don't want the video, you can set the picture in here and a picture in here instead of videos. And you can customize the font. You can use your own custom font. You don't have to follow like a list from the built-in Shopify phone. No, you can use your own custom font. And actually enough for me talking. And let me show you how it works and how to add it and all the options it has. So the first thing you're going to do is head back to Shopify dashboard. Obviously, after that, if you're already in Shopify dashboard, click on online store, then click on teams, then click on the three dots on left of customize and click on edit code. Because as I said, this is your own custom code. We don't use applications anymore here. So the next thing we're going to do is we need to head over to this folder right here on the left panel that says sections. We need to click on it, then click on add a new section because this is our own section. Then the next thing you're going to do is type in text dash video dash split, just like you see on the screen right now. And you don't have to add the extension for the file, just the name for it. Then click on done. And after that, it will create some code by default. Make sure to remove the whole thing in here. Make sure to remove every the closing bracket as well. And after that, we need to pass in our code and where are you going to get that code from the description box of course or hold on a second wait until you see how the code how the section functions and how and all the options it has and how it works then see if it suits your purpose go get it if not check out the other videos i have many many other things to share but for now let me assume you did if you already did open the file with any text editor on your computer then copy the whole code inside it then simply paste it in here after you did pass in the code in here click on the save button we wait for a couple of seconds, it's saved. It. Now we will get back to the team editor because we need to add the section, obviously. Then click on customize button right here. It will take you to the team editor. And after that, simply head over to the section where you want to add the, the 3D video and text split. In my case, I will add it below this uh, carousel, the reviews carousel. And by the way, this section right here for the map with opening hours, I did that in a video as well. So let me add it in here. Click on add section in the place where you want to place it. Then click on add section. After that, simply type in split and it will, oops, why is that? Split, 
text, maybe text. Yeah, here it is text vid split. This one right here, and it has the name for the channel on how. Click on it and it will show you the section right here. As you can see, there is no videos and you can see now the 3D effect more clearly as you can see. It has no videos yet and no custom font because you can add everything yourself. And the first thing you're going to do is set the videos or let me actually go over all the options it has. Then we go to the videos as well. So the first option it has, which is the section size settings. So I added some really unique uh, resizing options in here. For example, this one is section height. Let me zoom out so you can see. So if I decrease this number, it will actually make the size for the whole a section smaller in height evenly. It will resize everything evenly. If I drag this up more, it will increase the size, uh, I mean the height size evenly again. But for my case, I like it around 30, which is the optimal size. Again, all the options in here by default are for the optimal, like uh, the best size or uh, customizations that you can set to. And this one for the heading size, if you want to increase the heading on the size, as you can see, it does increase the heading. We will get back to this one later. And below it is the text size multiplier, which is for the text below the heading. If I increase the number, it will increase the size for it. We will decrease this number a little bit. We will get back to these options later. And this one for the size for the button. And I have two options for this one. One, sizing the, uh, resizing the buttons on desktop only. And the other one is resizing the buttons on the mobile only because obviously the screens are not the same. So you might want to set different sizes for each device. And this is very handy. And I actually got this feedback from my subscribers. They always ask the same question. I combine all the questions into options so people can have those options already available. They don't have to dive in into the code. So as I said, this one, the first one is for the desktop. If I increase this number, it will make the buttons larger. I like them a little bit larger on desktop. I will keep it like this. And the same for the mobile, I'm gonna keep them the same. And this one for the border radius, which is the rounded corners for the button. And by default, it's not rounded corners. If you want to simply increase the number, it will be rounded corners, as you can see now. In my case, I like it like this, pointy corners. I like things pointy, just like Borat says. <laughs> anyway, I'm just joking again. And in here, which is the first heading, top left heading custom font URL. As I said, you can set custom font for each heading. The first one is top left heading, which is this one right here. And the second one is for the bottom left heading, which is this one in here, as you can see. So each one, you can set a custom font to each heading on both sections. So to add the font, basically head over to Shopify dashboard again, or first make sure to go over online and find the font that you want to use, any font you found online, whatever, what extension it is, OTA for TTF or uh, WOF, any extension or any phone you like to use, then simply download the file for it and head back to content section. What is it? Content section. Sorry, here, content section. Then click on files. Then simply drag the file and drag it here. It will be uploaded. For example, this one is a phone, which is the same one I used. I'm going to copy the link. Click on this button to copy the link for it. Then get back in here and paste it in the custom URL section. Here it is. As you can see, I'm gonna uh, use the same for both headings. So I'm gonna paste it in here as well. And they look a little bit small because I said, we're gonna get back to the section, to the option for resizing the heading. I'm gonna increase the size. I think now it's perfect. Yeah, now it's good. And below uh, the option for the sizing, for the spacing, sorry, for the top left heading. So the, the space above the heading, if you want to increase the space above the heading, as you can see, simply increase this and it will add more space as you can see above the heading. Let me do that so you can see. Here it is as you can see. In my case, I'm gonna decrease this to eight, around eight. Yeah, now it's perfect. And this one is for the space below the heading. And the next one is this, the space below the text content, which is this text. But those options are only for the top, top left heading, sorry this one right here and next below the exact same settings but for the bottom right heading which is this section right here so i have different settings for each section so you can customize this however you want this is the optimal re <laughs> customization you can find anywhere online so below again is the settings for the top left block which is the text the background color 
which is the background color. I don't have to explain it. And the text color by default is black. I'm going to keep it like that. And the heading color, which is the custom font that we did set the heading to. So you can change the color for it. And below is the heading text. Obviously, you want to change the heading text. I'm going to keep it just like this because this is the premium Shopify sections. Make sure to keep that in mind. And below again is the text content. So you can change the text however you want. In my case, I'm going to keep it same like that. And the text button, as you can see, this one. And the link for it, where should take the user once he clicks on it. I'm going to set it to contact us page just for demonstration. And the option next is open in a new tab. If you want the button to open the page in a new tab for the user once he clicks on it. If you want to enable this option and the background, the, the button background, sorry, color. So it's transparent as you can see by default. If you want to change the color for it, make sure you do so from here. I'm going to keep it transparent. And again, the button text color and the button border color, which is the borders on the button. And the same again. And below is the top right block media for the video. As I said, you can pick both. You can pick if you want a video or if you want a picture. If you want a picture, click on select here and select a picture, but that will disable the video. Even if you set the link to the video and you pick the picture, the video will be disabled. It will not show up. It will only show the picture. In my case, I want a video. So I'm going to get back to my files. Make sure to upload the video you want to use to your Shopify uh, files. I have a video here. What is it? I'm going to use this one. So I'm going to copy the link for it and simply paste it in here. I'm going to select it like this and it should show up. Here it is. Let me use the, or let me do that in order. Uh, here it is actually. Let me do that for the second video. I'm going to use this one. The next one below. I'm going to paste it in here. And here it is. It should show up. Here it is, as you can see. It looks, it's looping and it doesn't have any sound and it doesn't have any controls, as you can see. So below the next option is the bottom right block, which is the exact settings we did go over here, but it's this one's right here, but it's actually for the block at the bottom here, at the bottom right corner. So the same exact bottom color, uh, background color, text color, heading color, and the text if you want to change this one right here, and the, uh, the heading, sorry, this one is the heading, and this one, the text if you want to change it, and the button says watch tutorials, you can change the, the text for it, and the link as well, I'm going to set it to custom, the contact us page, sorry, and the colors, transparent, text color, and the borders colors and below the next one which is the the regular section padding options that every section on Shopify has which is the top padding bottom padding and mobile padding and let me show you how it looks like on the mobile so if I save this let me switch to the mobile now let me wait for it to save it it's save it let me switch to the mobile and here it is as you can see it shows the first one the first block and below the video that was front of it then the next the second block then the next video that was in front of it, as you can see, just like this, not like on the desktop because desktop, the screen is larger and the mobile screen is smaller. So it should be like this, as you can see. Yeah. And by the way, this section will come with a comprehensive PDF file that will guide you through every option, how to use it and the best case for it. And also will come with my personal contact in case you need me or you need my support. And also, if you have any suggestions, just drop them in the comment below. I'll make sure to add them. But for now, I think my job is done. So thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.